Ooh, feel that weight. Feel that. Oh, please, 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 please. <gasps> there they are. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Today we are going back to our big $810 storage unit and ooh, I got some news about that unit. Something really good, but I'm not gonna tell you that until we get there. Before we go, you can see the truck's full of trash. We gotta go by the dump out here first and get rid of trash, but I literally couldn't sleep last night because I couldn't wait to get back into this unit. Are you ready to get on the road and get it? Let's do it. As you can see, we are finally here at the dump. Time to get this whole thing unloaded and the truck My empty. Favorite time of the day. I just love yeeting stuff full power off this into the dump. It's so satisfying. So we finally got back here at our 12 by 14 units, something like that. Paid 110 for it. After fees, it was close to 900. Then we did rent it. So we're in this unit about $1,000 or a little bit over that. So there's a lot of room to make up. But I got some news to tell you. But first, let me show you what it looks like. Before we get into it, I gotta tell you two things. First, let's start with the really good thing. Remember I found that chain yesterday, I was guessing about 350? Well, our scale came in, I got to weigh it and looked up the price of 14K. In scrap gold alone, that chain's worth $603. Over halfway what we paid to the unit with one fine in one box, and we probably have 50 to 60 boxes left. Plus, whatever's over here, we don't know what's behind the mattress and things like that. Number two, we found papers with the guy's name on it, so we looked them up. He's gone, he passed away. So the idea of this unit being touched is probably very slim. I really doubt anyone's been in here because well, the owner died. So it's probably completely untouched, which is good news, but I feel more of it kind of saying that's good news because it's never good that somebody died. So I don't really ever know how to respond to that, but whatever, let's get into it and see what we got. Let's start with these little boxes. I saw these last time and I was kind of curious what's in them because listen to the rattle they got. Doesn't that just sound weird? Look what we found last time, remember? Nice. Now we can actually cut open the tape instead of fighting with it. All right, let's see what was in this one. Whoa, ooh, that's money, I think. Is that what I think it is? All lancets? These are the diabetic things, aren't they? Yep. These are money. I feel kind of bad because you know, like you always see signs of people trying to buy these things because like I said in the other video, you know how the medical system works in the United States. We make it for $2, we make you pay 700 for it. So I guarantee you, how much do you think that is right there? That's, that's money. That is a real money box right there. And these might even be, these are some of the testing strips that could be in there as well. So, you know what? They're mixed in all throughout, it's both. I'm gonna say, I don't know what to say. What do you guys, you guys that have bought this stuff or have to buy it, how much do you think that box is worth? Let me know in the comments. All right, so this is the other box that was over there. This one. Doesn't quite have that rattle, but it was right there with it too. Where did my knife just go? Oh, you know, black knife, black truck kind of blends in. Let's just go down the middle and see what it is. Oh, it's like a flag. Ooh, this might be a military flag. It might, it might be. Yep, we can tell you yeah, by the way was, it's folded. That's what we found also is um, army. Yeah, this will go back with the pictures and stuff like that. So I'm not even gonna mess with that. Put it right back in there so it does not hit the ground or anything like that. So we're just gonna set that. Actually, I'm gonna set this out here just so we don't accidentally take it with us. Let's get out this next box right here, I guess. It's also kind of little. It says bedroom. Bedroom's very open, you know what I mean? You set your jewelry box by your bed, your gun by your bed, your pillows, clothes. What's bedroom? Looks like more medical stuff or random stuff. But you know what? This box right here, this is what the box looked like they found the pill bottle that had the gold chain in it. Just like that. Just like random, who knows what. I'm checking socks and every little thing. Hey look, fancy cat dinner. <laughs> it has a Dexter on it. Congratulations for two years of what? I don't know. Uh, let's see. What's in this little bag? This is thread. 
Oh, no, that's a cast. I thought that was a holster at first. Um, thing Vaseline. Ooh, look. These are earrings. Let's look in here really quick to see if we see any markings. It's hard to see outside. It's much easier once you get home. That's a bracelet, actually. The piece of it just fell out. So I doubt it. Look at the string that holds it together. It's like rubber. It's not even metal. So I doubt that's that any gold or anything like that. But it's still nice costume jewelry. I'm to say jewelry. Yeah. Costume jewelry that'll go in our lot. What is this? A razor? Yeah, it looks like a razor to like, shave with. Old school. Um, old cell phone. Other than that, though, just a bunch of random bedroom stuff like the box says let's see what's in this other little box i actually have no idea what that says any clue mm, no all right then. that makes it a little bit more mysterious huh let's cut it right down the middle let's see what's in this one no this one doesn't want to rip right here all right well i see phone cases and tape this looks like another random one i like the sound of that Oh, keys. That's not good. Here's the Bible. Always skim through it because everyone always tells me now. I've never found it. It's never happened to me yet that people put money in between pages. I've bought hundreds of these units. It's never happened to me one time yet. Oh, it's open. Candy. These are like. I don't know if these go in like those breathing machines. How beautiful. Yeah. What's in here? I see like a little jewelry box. Look, you see that? Yep. Let's see how I open this bag. Does it zip? It does. Oh, it's a charger. What a troll. Well, that. Is this a tablet? That is a tablet, not just a case. That's an Amazon Kindle. I don't know if this is like broken or just dirty, but if it's broken, it'll go in the lot. We sell all, You can sell broken phones and broken tablets as lots on eBay. You get a decent value for them. So, either which way, it's all right. This one looks just as gross. That might be the keyboard that goes to that tablet right there. But other than that, I don't even want to go in there. Look at that bag. Yeah. That's something we'll go in later with gloves or something. And other than that in here, you got a card and some safety pins. That is all. I found some interesting looking stuff. Look at this. Remember we found something like this yesterday? Yep. It was actually empty. It's a watch case for like a super expensive watch. But yesterday, the one was empty. Let's see if we can get lucky today. Which way is it open from? That's the first. No. Not in there again. I wonder since these boxes are so heavy duty, can we sell them? They Even if we don't find the worth money. I still, I'm still holding out that there's a jewelry box in this unit. I really feel like there's going to be. If you can find gold in a pill bottle, you know they got jewelry somewhere in there. Let's get into this big box here. Let's see what's in the staples box. We're getting tired of seeing these. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of Invicta watches somewhere. Let's here's the rest of the box. Right here. Come on, give me one. Nope. They're gonna be somewhere. They're gonna be somewhere. Along with something else. Um this looks like look. Roach killing. Lotion. Just your basic bathroom stuff. But no pill bottles I see this time. Let's do something I wanted to do last time and we just kinda ran out of time. Let's look at these. You can see frames, you know their artwork, but that could be a very good thing or a cheap thing, you know what I mean? Never really know with art. Oh, that is a family picture we just exposed. That's going back. I tried not to. That's all right. I mean, we can, I'll censor it, you know that. Um, let's see what this big one is. And make sure it's not personal first. No. It looks like some Egyptian stuff, look. Like Egyptian artwork. All right. I don't think that would be worth a whole lot. But then again, I don't know. It looks like a print to me, so maybe. Let's see what this biggest one is. Oh no, that's artwork. All right. This frame is heavy duty. It's like a Jesus thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's really heavy too. That's kind of cool. I don't know who the artist is. You see an artist name on it? No. 
No, there's nothing on it, huh? Maybe it'll be on the back of the canvas. We'll have to check that when we get home because the back of it's really taped up, so I don't really know. Looks like there's one more. Make sure it's not personal. Um, yeah, it is. Don't look at that. There's actually one more here. What is this last little one? It's more like, look, more of the same kind of stuff. So not so sure on those yet, but they could be valuable. This box has a lot of your favorite stuff at the bottom. Oh boy. There's a whole horde of hangers down there. Yay. But other than that, what are these? Are these like mm. arts? I mean, this looks like nowadays art, right? I would say maybe <laughs> wine bottle holders. Maybe. I don't have anybody to drink in my family right now, so I couldn't tell you. Those, Too kind of iron is this? A shark? A shark iron. Um, other than that, we got a spiky ball. I just kind of wanted to get this box out the way. And of course, this fluffy pillow right here. But other than that, that's it. This tote is obnoxiously heavy, actually. Ooh. Let's see what in it. Don't let me in. Okay, so I see clothes on the top. Let's get those out the way. I see a bag. What kind of bag? This has got, looks like, sounds like tools. But look. It's like empty. Where are they all at? Oh, they're all right here. Check that out. Screwdrivers, pliers, wrench, socket wrench, things like that. So leads me to believe this is probably going to be more of the same. Let's make sure there's nothing under it first. I see an extension cord is brand new. Hard drive. Um, clothes, paint scraper, and yeah, nothing else. Let's get this down. Let's see if this is what we think it is or if it's files. I don't hear any clanking, so I was kind of scared. I'm seeing paper on this side. So that probably means there's going to be paper in here too. Let's see. Nope, tools actually. There's like an ax. That is heavy duty. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> or this one, but they're heavy, whatever they are. So tool people, let us know what we got there and if it's valuable or just cheap yard sale stuff. The next tote. Ooh, this one's not as heavy, but it always starts off with clothes, but then you feel the weight and you're like, there's no way it's all clothes. Oh, I see a jersey though. Who do we got? Long. Okay, look how dirty it is. But it's a throwback from 87. So it might clean up, it might be worth a little something. Let's see, I see some shoes in here. No brand name. They got a sole thing over them, so they beat up anyway. A couple bucks at the yard sale. What about this one? It's not the same thing. Um, in here? Yeah, these are all just like cheap shoes. The yard sale for a couple bucks, if not a donation. Um, this tote is actually legitimately all clothes. Nope, never mind, not all legitimately. A few tools down here at the bottom. So we'll add to the tools. We're building up a pretty nice tool lot in here too. So a couple tools, all clothes. All right, so before I get to a box box, we got this thingy and it is in there. Foot spa, I'm not gonna go through it because well, you know what a foot spa is. There's paper in there and whatever that is. It looks like a cast or a knee thing maybe. So one of those in the foot spa, nothing else in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and push that in the truck. Cause I wanted to get to the box underneath of it right here. Ooh, it's heavy. Yeah, it's really heavy. Babe. All right. Let's go to the little one first. There's a little box inside of it. It's all food. Look at this. It's a purse full of food. What brand is that purse? <laughs> I have no idea. It doesn't say on the inside. It is it's Gucci. Why is it GD? Huh? Why is it GD on the outside? Look. Now is it real or not? Hmm. That I don't know. But it says Gucci on it. So that, they can have the food here. And the main thing, first off we got nice clock. And then what's in here? Staple gun. A staple gun. Put it with the rest of the tools we've been finding. 
All right, let's see. Plates, plates, more plates, lots of plates. It's gonna throw with the food. Another blanket. Ooh. So look at the bottom here. An AccuReach Precision Massager. Huh, I don't know how much of that sucker's worth, but looks like that's the only other thing in there. But it definitely feels like it's in there, so hopefully that's valuable. So this is a smaller box. It says bedroom on it. Off dresser. It doesn't okay. feel like clothes though. So. Off dresser usually means jewelry. Yeah. People put jewelry on dresser. Come on. Let's see. What do we got? Ooh, look at I see. They're just earrings though. Nothing special. Go in the costumes a really lot. Usually if they're that kind of pack, they're not. I'm shaking this sucker this time. Nothing in there. More of these. Yeah. Here's one of these, a watch. A couple of watches. Let's see what it is. Super speed. Never heard of it. What else is in there? Is that a lighter? What's this? Copper. Looks like a copper lighter. It works, it's just a little windy. Phone. Random stuff here. What do you think's in here? Feels heavy? No. <laughs> but there's obviously something in there. Oh, man. Probably just a book, but I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, a little SIM card thing. This is just mail here. Mail and pictures. More phone there. Day moisturizing mm -hmm. cream. Of course, that's in there. That's like brand new. Oh, cool. It could be worth something. Awesome. Yeah. It's kind of cute. This is another one of the same thing. Yeah, like two of those. Right. Well, actually, I'm not just going to toss that aside. What am I doing? Mm -hmm. What's in there? What the heck is this? Like light up stuff it's from Wish though. So it's probably not the best quality. Yeah. But that. Eh. Come on, man. Ooh, what do you think's in here? What is that? Oh, that's pretty. Let's see if it's. My brooch. Yeah. Hmm, that's cool. Let's set that aside too. Anything else in here? A freaking wrench. For some reason, it's in plastic. Nothing in there. That looks like hair. And, ooh, look. Come here, come here, come here. It's sealed. Come on. Ugh, what you got for me? And nothing. And nothing, unfortunately. And, well, other than that, not seeing nothing else in here. Look at this, like a window panel. Just some little packaging things. And a light bulb. Me. So I just picked up this box and listened to that rattle. I like that. I really like that. This one's completely unlabeled. You see that? Nothing. That's because they didn't want no one to know it was a new one. It's the golden jewelry box that we've been waiting for. The What's golden Even with the tape cut, man, it just doesn't cooperate. All right, open all the way. What is this? Is this another tactical vest? That's what it looks like, isn't it? Yeah. Let's take it out of here and make sure. This looks like an interesting box overall. Yeah. Ooh, I think so too. Oh yeah, look. It's a much smaller one though. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. it looks like it might go around the waist. Hmm. Not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. But that. And whatever it is, it was new. Extra care pack. Or exact care, sorry. But it's not nothing in there. What's this? Glue board for mice. Ew. And some losing lottery tickets. And hand sanitizer. And that. Hey, look. All right. Some pennies. Yeah. <laughs> All pennies. What's this? This box now. What is that? Is that dirt? It looks like dirt. It looks like clay. You know what it could be? 
a lot of people from the military have heard this in comments like when they serve in the Thank middle you. east they bring some of it back home that's my only guess these maracas oh yes <laughs> maracas what's in here Ooh, look, 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 ammo box. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Please. Don't look. You don't get to see. <laughs> Come on. Get the ammo. They want to see. Fine. Ah. Some of it is, at least. Not very much, though. What do we got? This looks like some Remington Buckshot. 12 gauge, I'm assuming. Yeah, 12 gauge. This is. Oh, yeah, it's 556. That's what's up. This stuff's hard to come by right now. Let's go ahead and. Oh, yes. That is a beautiful find right there. My AR needs that <laughs> what's this boxed prime oh Five millimeters. these people that make their own probably these might like, be empty brass cases unless they made them no they're complete hollow points so more nine millimeter and before somebody asks no i never sell any of the ammo especially right now it's all being stocked up because you never know and last ooh, ooh, what do you think this is full of <laughs> 22 hmm. no it's bigger than that okay well i can't do it Oh, it might be exactly what we're looking for. This is 762. Look at that. I've never heard of that one. Ooh, is this whole thing full of it? Hold on a second. Oh yeah, look at that. Whole thing's full. That's what I like to see. That's what we like to see. We love ammo here at the Jeebus family. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what this is. Case logic. Might be CDs actually, we'll see though. Yeah, it's actually CDs. So nothing really there, but the maracas could obviously be something too, because they do—they don't look like they're factory made to me, at least. Those look like they're very handmade. And money and ammo. I call that a good box. All right, we're gonna bring out these couple of boxes here, and let's see what they are. Ow! I just smashed my own finger. Well, this one is one thing. It looks like. That looks like a foot thing, doesn't it? <coughs> A boot? Yeah, it's a foot boot. I'm imagine since it's medical supplies, it's probably not that expensive. I mean, not that cheap, sorry. Yeah, it's brand new, so I imagine it's decent money there. This one, I see all kinds of random stuff, which I'd like to see. What is this first? Lysol. Some Lysol. This. Looks like a, like a lotion dispenser at one point right there. Cleaner, a hand a riveter, okay. pet bowl, nothing, Epsom salt. Hmm. These are just look like what little decor things probably for the bathroom office. Yeah. Put them in there. This is a straightening iron. It looks like our curling iron. One of the two. This looks like some crazy medical stuff that you gotta wear when you enter rooms. That's what I'm getting from me. What do you think? Yeah. So that's probably not a good value box. Now I'm gonna get this big boy out and see what we got inside of it. Ooh, right there. We got Aww. a pony or a horse. This is for you. Thank you. You better not sell it at a yard sale this time. Every All time right. I give you a bear, it goes at a yard sale. Don't do it. <laughs> Let's see what's in. What kind of pants are these? Nothing I would ever wear. Carolina colors. They look like women. Yeah, I would hope so. But you never know. This whole bag's closed right here, so I'll just set it aside. I'm seeing clothes, clothes. Ooh. Look, but this isn't closed. Those are Boost Mobile headphones that aren't in there. Oh. Uh, Clothes, clothes, except for this. These look like fire stick boxes. Those things are really light, so you don't know. Fire HDO, oh, these are tablets, aren't they? Tablet boxes. There's no tablets in them, unfortunately, but that doesn't mean they're not somewhere else in the unit. We already found one, so there's a good chance the other one's in there too, but yeah, that box, no good either. So this little box says tapes and CDs. Let's see if it's telling the truth or not. Where's my knife go this time? There it is. Come here, big boy. I need you. Cut. Cut. You're designed to do one thing and you can barely do it. 
Oh, well, we kept like the dullest knife ever. Yeah, this looks. Ooh, look at that though. What do you think's in here? Hmm. That. Um, that price tag totally means 800 right? Not $8? Yeah. 800 Yay! That's what that is. Ooh, what's in here, though? Calvin Hill. <sighs> There's jewelry boxes in here somewhere. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not going to be. Please be in here. That's got some weight to it. Come on. No! No! It's got some ammo to it though, but that was supposed to be a 38 revolver. But you know what? As disappointing as that is, that still gives me more hope that there's going to be somewhere else in this unit. I haven't given up on that yet. I never will. Other than that, they're actually telling the truth. The rest of this is all DVDs. Another tablet box with nothing in it. All DVDs, but this, this better be in that freaking unit somewhere. Can I say I love how specific this stuff is labeled? Look at that. Under the end table. All right, I know what I keep under my end table. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see if they keep one there too. This stupid knife will cut. I see a Best Buy bag. Is that another tablet box? It is. Look at that, another one. This is a Boss Audio System. Ooh, and that, that's in there, 100%. Is that even open? No, I don't think so. Look at that. Check that sucker out. That's brand new. I can't imagine it's cheap. I don't think Best Buy puts prices on the boxes, so we'll have to look it up. I might be wrong. I don't see nothing, but that could be valuable for sure. We got, this looks like an ammo belt, man. That's what this is. This is a belt that goes across your chest as you put ammo in. This is just like a bunch of decorations from the Dollar Tree and thing like that. Somebody will buy this lot collectively for like five bucks or so. Other than that, it's a tarp. That is the big question right now. How much is that worth? I'm opening this one reluctantly. It says kitchen on it, and I do not like looking at kitchen stuff, but maybe there's something else in it too. Ah, it doesn't look like it based on what I see though. Hold on. Some of this tape doesn't want to give. No, that's legitimate. There is a coffee maker in there, though, no. so that's an easy five. Somebody at the yard sale yesterday asked me if I had a blender. <laughs> well, I do now. I mean, it's what? What do you think a blender sell for? Five or ten bucks or two? Yeah. That's probably, I mean, 15 bucks in there. Nothing fun to look at, but money is money. All right, so I'm taking out this ottoman because it's obviously not empty. It's very heavy for its size. Let's see what's in the ottoman. Hello. Um, more random tools, it looks like. See wrench, pliers, level screwdriver your basics that looks like it could be new doesn't it yeah the car dude still in it oh i thought that was money yeah <laughs> but hey a little gift set more money got some money in it that's got a few pennies and a pill in there you see that yep what's this it's all mail isn't it definitely stuff we got to go through though this is what survivor binoculars so maybe if they have rifle and you know rifle ammo in there maybe they're hunters and maybe these could be expensive or maybe they're military i don't know so they could be worth money Ooh, that wind what is that i can't even tell you what that is yeah, i'd guess a piece to a clock but not sure these more binoculars another pair could be money again what's in here Ooh. This one looks very random. Actually, it looks like a lot of clothes, but we're gonna look anyway. Another wrench, dog leash, pictures, empty foam box, gloves, and just, yeah, nothing too interesting. Other than that, looks like we have mail with mail in it. And this thing, what is that? Open, oh, come here, you. Filet set. So maybe there's a fisher too. Maybe there's some fishing equipment in there somewhere. Who knows? It's just so much mystery at this point. I feel like we've showed you so much, but realistically, we've barely touched it. So let's just keep on digging. So this is right here, just a bag of clothes and like cheaper yard sale shoes. The Amazon Prime box is empty right, it's right here. So nothing to see in there. Let's throw that aside. Let's get this one. Ooh, come here. 
see what's in here really quick. The real reason is I see this blue case and I want to make sure it's got a pop out case. What is it? Ah, what is that? It's a Beretta. Beretta. <laughs> oh, come on. Please. Please. No. Gun lock. It's got the little handbook for it and everything. They're in there somewhere. I'm telling you, they're in there somewhere. I just don't know where yet. Let's see what else is in here. Open. Ooh, I think it's really nice. What? Huh? What? This looks very nice. Look. See what I see? Mm -hmm. This is one of these military knives. Look at this. Ooh, you know what else is cool about these? Because I found it before. This actually unscrews and you can keep like, you know, something small in there. If it all come off. Ooh, something's in there. What do they keep in there? What's that? Oh, matches. <laughs> Duh. We found that in the last one we found too. You never know when you'll need matches. And the top of the knife actually has a compass on it. Look. You take that off. Cool. So that's a cool little thing. I think the last time we found one of these, we sold it for like 45 bucks pretty fast. Nice. So I like it. I see more interesting looking stuff in here. Look, a nice little set of drill bits. Ooh, what's that? Oh, oh wow. That's super nice. It's got bears on it and everything. Oh, I really like that nice. one. That's super cool. Let's see what else we got in here. A lot of ties. What's this? That's the ammo. I bet you. <laughs> I feel it. Sounds like ammo to me. Or tools. You know? Oh, it's cartridges. It's like CO2 cartridges. No, this is not. That's Damn. not. What this is, is 40. 40 cow. So we'll take it. We'll also see these um, CO2 cartridges, which can be used for BB guns also. But it can also be used for other bad stuff. Let's assume it was for BB guns. Ooh, look. That's loaded. Nice. What kind of gun was this? Let's see. 45 auto. That's what my 1911 takes. That's beautiful. Let's put that shot back in there. You guys that go to the shooting range know that last bullet in the clip, it just it kills your thumb <laughs> every time. <laughs> that last one. Ooh, this is heavy. Ooh, Ooh feel that weight. Feel that. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. Oh, please, 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 please. <gasps> there they all are. There they all are. You know the We've been saying this watches would show up somewhere. There they are. What do we got in here? This is a Charles Lally. I'm probably pronouncing that very wrong. This one, I don't even know what that says. Say Jag or something? Can't oh, tell. Can't focus. It's kind of starting to get dark. Can't see it. I mean, I can get close up, but I, I can't read it. I don't know okay. if you can. This is like a pocket watch with a buckle on it. You see that? It opens right there. Nice. Sweet. This is a no. I hate Timex because I always pick it up and I see EX. And I'm like, oh, Timex. Another watch. Ooh, look at this one. That's nice. So definitely a watch lot coming. Because I'm not seeing nothing overly expensive right now. But people know how to fix them. Can use the parts for the ones that aren't worth it. Fix the ones that are. Things like that. And not to mention. We got some more ammo in here. This is nine millimeter. It doesn't look like it looks shorter than usual, but nine millimeter. This that is a pick something. I don't know, but we'll definitely do some research on the watches. Well, we knew we would find a case of them, but that doesn't mean it's all of them. No, because these are Invicta. We didn't find any Invicta. Sure. What's this? Nice little manicure kit. What's this. <laughs> No way. No way. There it is! <laughs> there it is! Which one? Is it the one that we found case for or no? Beretta. <gasps> oh. Oh. It's loaded. You gotta make sure it's not the sure chamber. Clear. It's locked. There it is. Yeah, it's clear. Good. Yeah. <gasps> there it is. I told you it would be in here. It's pretty. Oh, yes, it is. What caliber is that? Is it a nine? 380 auto. All right. 
<laughs> Dad just being my. How many times did I tell you I wanted a Beretta? A lot, a lot. How many times did I tell you that? Well, Merry Christmas. <sighs> Thank you. you That's my that? Christmas present to you. I'll take it. You know, I'll gladly <laughs> take it. You don't even have to pay for it. I'm going to keep this out of it, put it back in here All without right. the magazine. Oh my god, this just made my day. You don't even understand. <laughs> this bag is crazy. Does it feel like it's, it too? <laughs> please. Please. No, what is it? Dang it. It's a brush. Ooh, what is this? Ooh. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Invicta, baby. There they are. Yeah. There's one. Let's see what it says on it. Limited edition, too. 198 out of 999 for that one. Oh, look at this. That it says. It's 925. This is silver. Cool. We'll take it. Not gold, but silver works, too. What is this one? A tiss it. Tiss it. Um, let's keep looking. That looks like uh, something else. And yeah, that's like little pieces of stuff. Charger. There's another drill charger, but still no drill. Let's see, look, there's loose watches in here too. Here's one at least. That one is a Citizen. Not bad. A lot of watches, man. A lot of watches. Um, other than that, the rest of it looks like a lot of... Oops, I missed one, didn't I? That's a, no, that's a watch. Look. I almost missed this one. An ice state. Other than that, the rest of it does look like clothes. My mood is so high right now, I can't even tell you. Let's see what's in this box right here. That was like movie. I've been saying I wanted one of those for so long. And there it is. Well, what do we have here? From Haiti. Might just be a case. There's a jewelry case, but hmm. no jewelry. Ooh, stapler. Um, let's see what else. Man, I'm just on cloud nine right now. Some Isn't glass. glass? Yeah, they're glass. Maybe they go to some tables in there. Yeah, let's make sure they don't break. Um, well, staples for the stapler. Makes sense. Hmm. I don't smell cool. Um, let's see, let's see. This box looks very random. Dog food. You know what this looks like? I see dog food, I see like bug killer. I feel like this is like somebody's, they reached underneath their sink and went and then put it on a box. I don't even know what this is. A snake. Is it? Ew, is this the part that goes in the toilet? Well, it goes in whatever drain, but... Alright. Well, that's all under the sink stuff in that box. Let's see what's in the see-through tote. It says closed, but let's make sure that's legitimate. Well, I mean, it's see-through, so I think it's legitimate. Let's see what this is. It looks like Cabin Creek. I know a lot of Burberry's do their stuff like this, too, so I had to make sure. Yeah, I think this is legitimate. All closed, all the way down, so... I only want to look at this one. The reason I wanted to get this one is because the one on the bottom there looks like it has more kinds of random stuff in it. So let me set this aside really quick and grab this one. Come here. Come to me. All right. This one looks more random. I like random. Hmm. Empty bag. Empty bag. Whoa. Please, I beg of you. I don't see a marking right off the front of my anywhere, but I don't know. One of the first signs I could tell when something's fake is you can see it's kind of scraped off. You know it's either plated or fake, either which way, it's junk. This has none of that. But recap, we'll do a mini recap like we did last time. Papers, more papers, which are falling out. Get back in there, papers. Oh look, see what I see? More watches. Yeah, there's one in here. Let's see what it is. Come here. An auto? Why does that look so dirty? Look at my finger. What is that? No idea. Better not be doo-doo. Walkie-talkies. 
Oh, look, there's the charger for them, too. They're from Radio Shack. There's the charger. I can imagine they can be worth a little something. Are this fireworks? Where? This sticks. What's in here? Not what I was hoping for. What's the little watch? It's an FG. That's all it says on it. FG. Some pennies. Ooh, look. Here's a few more. This is Denica, maybe? D-E-N-A-C-C-I. This one's unbranded. This one is Coats de Azor. <laughs> Me trying to pronounce foreign watch names is a joke. These are fireworks. Yes, they are. <laughs> That's what you were asking. Yeah. Cool. Um, nothing there. This looks like legitimate bathroom stuff. Yeah. Mirror mail. Strapped to a watch. And there's another one. A lot of watch lots here. Unbranded again, but it has pretty colors on it. But yeah, what's that? Charger. Other than that, there's some pennies and just some random this and that. This box looks like clothes and it's really light, so take a quick peek. Make sure we're not missing anything. What's that? Home decor. That truck's very loud. Home decor. Um, this. Um, oh, the water's like that's water. <laughs> um, balls! Lots of balls. This box has real balls. It really does. Curtain rods and yeah, not seeing that. It's probably oh wow, a bag of balls. They are. All right then. Yeah, this box. Nothing in the book. That box is just meh. Let's get rid of it. I hate motorcycles. Let's see what's in this. Whoa. It's probably going to be closed because it's actually big. Ugh. I don't hear no rattling around. Yeah. Figured that'd be the case, but could be something hidden in there like this box of. Oh, look. Another tablet box. It's not in there, I can tell you already, but. So many tablets. I know. Like, how many tablets does one family have? Um, let's see what kind of purse we have. Aldo. This is a purse, isn't it? It's a weird looking purse. I just looked it back up. <laughs> it's got salt in it, no joke. Salt. Oh. Don't be so salty. Nothing else. What brand is it? I don't know. I just <laughs> Sorry, I saw a gold necklace fall. I didn't know what it was. What brand is it? Right here. What is it? I'm trying to focus on it. Dorcia? Dorcia, that. Um, clothes and clothes. Hey, a grabber. Hey, Perfect, yeah, right? We'll definitely keep one. that. It's one of the better ones, too. All right. All right. Yeah. Just clothes and curtains. It looks like there's a lot of curtains in here, too. So Nothing interesting to look at, though. Whatever that is. I don't even know. Let's just put the toad away. Good news, so we just got the blue toad moved. And let me tell you, I can see back here now, all the way to the back, all the way to the floor, nothing but boxes. I am in such a good mood today. Let's take this box out and see what we got. Like this thing. What is it? It's a boom, 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 boom. Right, maybe? Right. Let's just set it over here. Camera. 14 shooting lens. This is a Canon PowerShot A95. Could be some money. It's got some weight to it, so we'll see. The last two we found, one was 100 bucks, one was 30 bucks, so that's not bad. Could be in that range. What is this? It's like a holster. Looks like a freaking holster to me, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh, look what I see. Money! Boom! A dollar. That means there's more in here, right? Ooh, whoa, hold on. Let's see. Um, J Runner, nothing. Um, hey, right, get out, get out, get out. Phone case, nothing in there. What's that? Ooh, what's in this little guy? More binoculars? Looks like it. These are Simmons binoculars, and they're in there. The rest of that, just kind of random junk. Let's set it under your foot and go back in the box. Just a leather jacket and a leather shoes. Hmm. 
No brand. Where's the brand usually out on these? Inside? Bottom or inside? Anything on the... Come here. Bottom? No. On the inside? Like on the sole? Yeah. White Mountain. Means nothing. Means nothing. Very true. Another one. Another pair. Nothing. Again, you think they're the same brand? It looks very similar. It's it does. Brown. Let's see. Oof. They have a implant, so I can't tell you. Okay. Like a little sole thing. Insert. Insert, not implant. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Some heels. They're pretty beat. Some more heels. Some more heels. What are these at the bottom of these Converse? No, they're you know, um, Polo. U.S. Polo Association, whatever it's called. And well, what are these? Bummer. It literally says about bumper. <laughs> it's a bummer. I, it is kind of a bummer to find them, but other than that, yeah, it's just soft shoes in there, unfortunately. But hey, we got a dollar and a camera. Let's bring out the cooler, right? Hopefully, there's not a body part in it. Dead deer. Don't say that. No. Nope. Hey, is that one of the? That's the box of the airbrush. Look. What? So. Put it in the box now. Paperworks, papers. Cooler might be all paper, huh? Looking like all paper, all paper, all paper, all paper in there. And that's the bottom. Well, that was very uneventful. All right, I got us another heavy autumn in here. Let's see what's in there. Ooh, a lunch box with. Jeez, this looks like me. No, never mind. That's so frustrating. I'm glad you lost. I hate when people just scratch the bottom. Like, where's the fun in that? Come on. I'm seeing like glasses here. Aren't they open? What the heck? Top. Oh, okay. I was like, come on. Where do I get in these things? Any brand on them? HD Vision. Are these the ones that are on TV? I don't know. Do you always see all the time that it's like for truck drivers and things like that? I feel like I've seen them on TV a lot. Nothing. Ooh, what's that? Oh, more of these. Yep, look. Money right there. Money, money, money. Just tons of money. Sitting there. What are these? Pictures. Yeah, put those aside. Is this another CPAP? Mm, looks like it. Based off the mask. I'm going to assume, yeah, that's another, probably another CPAP machine. And the weird thing, a lot of people ask, can we buy that from us? So the legality of selling those, you cannot sell them to the end user. I looked this up last night. You have to sell them to a distributor, which will then refix it and then sell it to the end user. If you sell it directly to you, if I sell it to you directly and you use it, I can get in trouble for that. I don't know well, why. I would think because if, if I were to sell this to someone, I mean, who knows what kind of grime and whatever else is in it. Yeah. I feel like they, they take it, send it, or clean it, make it healthier, blah, blah, blah. I'm looking at every single one of these. Actual pills. Actual pills. And actual pills. Dang it. I feel like I got the one lucky pill bottle. But you never know. I'm going to keep checking. Let's see what down here is. More lancets. More lancets. So it's not an interesting to look at box, but it's definitely a nice, valuable box. Guys, we're going to stop the boxes right now. Our truck's getting full. It's starting to get late. I don't want to have to deal with that crappy lighting again. So we're going to take this stuff home. We're going to run through it and show you anything we might have missed for this part. And we'll see you then. So before we go into the garage and do the total recap, I want to talk to my gun people right now because I'm at a little loss. I've never owned a Beretta. This is kind of confusing me. So let me show you. Take a look right here at this gun. Can you see it right here? Is this the right side? No. This side. Let me see. Yeah. Look, so this is a Cheetah, 86 Cheetah, I think is what it is, or 84 Cheetah or something like that. But the thing that's confusing me is right here. Can you see that? Where it says Cal 9 short? Yeah. Cal 9 short, but the rounds in here are 380. And this is 100% the magazine for it because it even says on here look right here the same thing as the gun itself so i'm kind of lost but i've been looking up the let me see what the number is Is it 86 or 84 am i just wrong i don't want to just keep saying it 86 cheetah cal 9 short 380 auto how's the caliber 9 is just 380 i'm a little lost on that 
but I've been looking them up and I see them going for crazy prices in some instances. I've seen one is up for auction, I think on Gunbroker, that had 40 some bids, it was up to $1,700 right now. So I don't really know a price on it. The cheapest one I've seen was on an auction too, it was up to about 900 bucks, but it still had a couple days left. So at a minimum, I think if I decide to sell it, I don't think I will. This will pay for the entire unit just this baby right here now let's head into the garage and see what else we got all right now that we're in the garage let's show you some of the crazy stuff so first off you know we have this huge horde of watches here we only found two of the invicta ones so far remember we're probably how far are you thinking of this unit maybe 15 or 20 yeah. percent there's still a lot of boxes to come but let me show you so Invictas, like Rolexes and other high-end watches, have model numbers and stuff on the back. Make sure you look them up easy. Before I show you the prices, I want to ask my watch people. All of the watches seem to be like this. You see this to where there's like something missing right here. That is an easy fix, right? Or is it more complex? Should we look at fixing it ourselves or just sell them as is and they deal with it? But first one's this one right here. Typed it into Google. It came right up on Walmart. See that price? $615 for that one. This one, same thing. Looked it right up. It's not for sale. Apparently it's like a discontinued model, but somebody has it on a, what's it called? Poshmark. $600 for this one right there. And now obviously the other watches, we're just gonna have to do a lot of research. Just haven't had the time yet because we need to get the video done. But before we sell stuff it will be research and i also want to say before i show you a few other things this coming saturday we are going to have a first live auction in a long time we got a lot of good stuff piled up for you guys so if you want a chance to win it make sure you stop by on saturday but let me show you some of the other stuff we found that we missed earlier one little camera lens here what was it like 30 bucks or something like that about 30 dollars. nothing like too crazy but still figured i'd show you if it go back in there so I've showed one little lighter that was copper. It was a weird brand. I looked it up, it wasn't really worth much, but this one here is an old Zippo. But look how bad a shape it's in. Anyone out there that collects lighters know if that would have any value? Because I mean, it's old and it's together. Does it work? What do you think? Mm. No. Might not have any fluid in it's it. It's probably just out of fluid, but it's definitely an older Zippo and it doesn't have an exact date on it but yeah that where is the ipad there was also well for one a samsung s7 edge it's smashed obviously but i don't know if this one's still worth putting in the machine i know once upon a time i found one of these dumpster diving and it got 80 bucks for it, but that was like three years ago actually that's the first video in this channel if you get bored you want to go look at it first video ever we found one of these in a dumpster and we got 80 bucks for it but that was three years ago that and there was a where is it by the way, look at all the tablets we found. Remember we kept saying we we're gonna find them? So a couple other tablets. But then we found a Gen 1 iPad, but they had it in a case and I see why. The back of it, pretty sticky. It's not really worth much in good unlocked, perfect shape. It's like 70 bucks on eBay. So I imagine locked out, no charger and gooky stuff on it. Maybe 20 or 30 bucks, something like that. But I don't know, again, we're still going through it. And if it doesn't work, like I said before, you lot up tablets and smartphones on eBay, people buy them for parts like crazy. Other than that, we sorted through everything. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention this. I cannot find an original painting done. I took a picture of it and image searched it, and I can find prints of this going for like 25 to 35 bucks. I cannot find an original. That is a canvas. If you look on the back here, I peel this off to see it's the actual canvas in there, not a print. So that could also have a lot of value. There's our trash. These are the, you know, decent things or this right here is the stuff we got to look into. Those are just some decent things for the next time we have a yard sale. But overall, you know, I'm happy. We got a Beretta, a Beretta, which I haven't decided if I'm going to sell yet because I didn't think it would be that valuable. I told you earlier, some of those are for going for nearly two grand. If it's worth two grand, I think I might let it go. Being 6'5", I kind of like the full length pistols. The short ones don't really fit right, but it's still a Beretta. You guys that are gun people, please let me know. Watch people, please let me know. So if you enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.